Thank you for purchasing the RT10 device. Here are the basics you will need to conduct a somatic cell test. The RT10 device, an iPod Touch 5th or 6th generation or iPhone 5 5S, and a supply of milk sampling slides. Please ensure your app is up to date before starting testing. To begin, remove the RT10 device from the box and remove all packaging. Remove the 9 volt battery from the box. Turn the RT10 upside down so that you can see the battery compartment. Using a slotted or flathead screwdriver, remove the screw from the battery compartment and then remove the cover. Insert the battery, making sure that the plus and minus signs on the battery match the plus and minus signs on the device. Replace the cover and the screw. Turn the RT10 over, open the front latch, and insert your iPod or iPhone. Turn on the device. To load the Dairy SCC app on your RT10, tap the App Store app on your device. Tap Search in the app. Enter Dairy SCC in the search field. Tap Open or Purchase. Taking a milk sample. Using a milk file, insert the slide into the milk. To ensure you get the necessary amount of milk for an accurate test, please do the following. Make sure the slide tip is fully inserted into the center of the milk. You may have to tilt the vial to ensure the slide tip is fully immersed in the milk. Press the piston only when the slide is fully immersed in the milk. You will know you have the correct amount of milk when you see the milk pass through the middle of the third column of tracks or capillaries. To begin testing, tap the milk sample analysis selection on the menu. Make sure the dot patterns on the slide match the dot patterns in the Dairy SCC app. The dot pattern function is a toggle. Simply press to toggle on or off. To confirm the pattern, tap dots OK. Insert slide fully into slot, holding onto the slide tip. While inserting the slide, you should see the dots on top of the slide. After inserting the slide, tap Choose Cow to access your cow list. Please note this is not necessary for a bulk tank test. Tap Use Cow List to select a cow tag. Tap the cow you are testing. The app will return to the analysis screen at this point. Hit Analysis to start testing. You can also indicate the quarter the milk came from by tapping the quarter button on the app before you press Analysis. This will allow you to log test data by cow quarter. On your first few tests, please make note of the Our Process screen. You will find useful information that will help you better understand your test results. You now have your test result. Cells in view refers to the cells counted, including clusters. Our value refers to the relative brightness. A number below 100 hints at a degrading battery. Indication of pathogen refers to the potential bacteria causing the elevated somatic cell count. This will appear in counts above 300,000. Hit save to keep the test stored in the memory of the iPod or iPhone. We will now discuss some troubleshooting tips. Always make sure the light comes on when the slide is inserted. If the slide is not completely inserted, the light will not come on. Or if the battery has failed, the light will not come on. This will render a poor test result. Also, please remember to remove the slide after testing to prevent premature draining of the battery. This screen shows a result that indicates a problem with either the slide insertion or a low battery. Self-calibration of the RT10. This function is a fine-tuning of the RT10 Classic against a known SCC value. It is not required for RT10 Platinum users. The device is already calibrated to function with a wide range of milk samples. Some users, however, will wish to fine-tune the device against known SCC values from other testing equipment. To self-calibrate. Tap Settings. Tap SCC Calibration. Tap Self Calibration. Tap OK on the alert message. Align the dot patterns. And tap Known 
a CC value. Enter the value. Insert the slide and then tap Continue. You will receive an alert message that the settings have changed. Hit OK. These new settings will take effect on the next test. From time to time you may have to adjust the focus of the RT10. Tap the Camera app on your Apple device. Make sure the slide is inserted. You are looking for clearly defined cells. If the image is unclear, slide the Apple device back from the lens. Use a Phillips or Star screwdriver to loosen the screw at the side of the device. Rotate the outer ring until optimum focus is achieved. Reinsert the camera to check. You may have to repeat the process until you get a clear image. Tighten the screw on the side when complete. To update the app, look for the App Store icon and tap. At the bottom of the screen, there is a taskbar. On the right side of the taskbar, tap Updates. If an update is available for the Dairy SCC app, tap Update. Please note you will need to be connected to the internet to update the app. To use the report function on the RT10 device, tap Reports. Define the time frame using the From and To fields. The default setting is Report. Tap Proceed. To email the report, tap the envelope icon. To print the report, tap the printer icon. Please note an internet or network connection is required to email or print reports. You can also create an Excel compatible data file by tapping Create Excel File and tapping Proceed. This will bring you into an email screen. Note you will need an internet connection to send the file via email. To cancel, tap Delete Draft. To format data to be entered into the RT10 device, using Microsoft Excel, create four columns on your worksheet. Column A is the cow tag number. Column B is the notes. Column C is date of birth, and column D is date of first lactation. Enter the data. To save the file, go to Save As. Save the file as a text tab delimited file. Save to a folder for easy access. Email the file to the email address on the device. To retrieve the tab delimited file and merge it into the Dairy SCC app, tap Mail. Open Message. Tap and hold attachment until you see a selection of apps. Select Dairy SCC app to open attachment. You will see an alert screen confirming the data has been imported.